to have the arms embargo, both the Libya in March 2000 and February 2011, uh, to be lifted, uh, enabling the uh, government of national accord or GNA to purchase arms from the international uh, market uh, legally, if you like. Uh, the problem with that uh, decision, or actually w- with this understanding of the West, is actually it's uh, it did not uh, appear to have learned the lessons of, of the mistakes it has made in Libya in 2011, which ended up having the country in the chaotic situation and violent situation it is in now. So they are... Uh, because they have been criticized, I mean, the West has been criticized for turning its back in Libya after the toppling of the former regime in, in, uh, in Libya in October 2011. Uh, they rushed now to show that they are interested in stabilizing Libya and trying to do something to help the country uh, get back on its feet. But uh, to my understanding, they are repeating the same mistakes. First, because the political dialogue has not reached its, uh, reached its uh, conclusive conclusion, uh, where to be an inclusive government that represents the whole of Libya. Second, they are rushed to uh, call for the lifting of the arms embargo on both the Libya, as I mentioned before, uh, to enable Mr. Siraj and the presidential guard, his new presidential guard, to be armed legally from the international suppliers. That's a very serious problem because it's not an army, actually. It's uh, militias. Mm-hmm.